Sophie Freeman back into the game for the runners as well. They'll have the kickoff to start the second half. Arante, we're going to try and go right down the middle. A little too far for either Hines or Settles, who will be the two that start back up top. Same starting lineup for Coach Kernin and the runners, except for Martinez. Whoever started the first starts the second. The only change is Martinez in for Saya. Pioneers control. And they'll play it wide, and they'll look to possess, and they do. They do a really good job of doing that. They have Cheyenne Shorts as the deep. I don't want to say she's playing sweeper, but she looks like she's the one at the back. Good switch of the field there to Bothner. She's the captain. Show control. Controlled on by our pressured by Freeman, but good job by the captain getting the ball in deep to Dancy. She's gonna try and do some damage on the wing. Defended by Maya Green will go out of play and the Pioneers will throw. Good job by the senior captain Bothner here at the left back, controlling and playing a good ball in for Jesse Dancy. Pioneers still control. There's Dancy. One of the top two scorers on the Pioneers team. And here come the runners. There's Martinez. What a surprise. Great wing back. Good idea on the switch by Arante. And here comes Harvey with the speed. Good ball in. Can she get it back? Played to Nelson. Spun by Settle. She'll look to shoot. Can't get anything off. Controlled for Freeman. Good pass there. It'll go to Arante. She's going to try and take a long shot. Knocked down. There's Arante again. Still not a lot of space. Look how congested it is. Nobody stretching it. Ball played wide to Settles. Not far enough, and it'll go into the hands of Wilson. The gentleman up in the booth covering the game with me as well, writing the story for the runner's website. Talking to half, that's the big thing. Runners really need to create, get some width. It's all tight. Everybody's within the size of the circle except for Harvey right now. And that's tough to play for Arante and Delgado and Hines in there. It's just not a lot of room to work when it's so tight in the midfield. Controlled by Denver. And they're going to look to go long. And they do. But there's Maya Green, Morgan Cole, be knocked out of bounds. Those two senior center backs really do a good job back there for. So Arante leads the team in scoring for the runners. Two goals and two assists. You have Ariana Harvey, your left back. She's got two goals on the year. Kamari Hines has two. So those are your three top goal scorers for Coach Kernin and the runners. Here comes Freeman on the wing. She'll play it in for Settle. She'll play it back for Freeman. And good counterattack by the runners. Great ball in by Freeman, headed out by the Pioneers. But Delgado will control. She'll lay it down for Ariana Harvey. Back to Delgado, nice one touch ball there. To Settle, she'll look to hit. She will, it'll go wide and high. It'll be a goal kick for the Pioneers. Nice little counter there by the runners. Team is led in assist by Nelson with two and Arante with two. So Arante leads the team in goals and assists. And she's doing that from the center midfield position. Long ball by Brittany Wilson over the midfield line. One bounce and headed by Harvey and now to be knocked wide into the Pioneers zone. Nelson wins the ball. And here comes Arante with speed. She's got her Freeman wide. She'll have to stop control. She'll look to possess, does for settles. Try and play it in for Hines a little too far. But go to the keeper. And Wilson will look for the long ball for the two up top. Dancy's one of them. But there's Martinez. She'll win it. 
Go to a Pioneer, but the Pioneers still control. Played out. There's Maya Green. She wins the ball. Plays it out, but still possessed by the Pioneers. Good ball in by Barteau. Barlow, I'm sorry. Can Adler keep it in? She can. It'll go out of play. Just a little strong. But nice little ball to the flag by Barlow. Barlow, a freshman from Las Vegas, went to Palo Verde High School. She came on late in the first half. Goal kick for Bertram, her first touch of the second half. Delgado will play it wide for Harvey. And she's got a little space to work with. She's going to try and play it in for Nelson. There's that chemistry of these two. Nelson from Harvey. Nelson will play it across. Knocked out by a pioneer defender. And it'll be a corner kick. And Delgado will head out to take the corner. That chemistry between Harvey and Nelson is working. And it's doing some damage. Harvey will play a quick one to Delgado. The short one. She's got Harvey back if she wants it. She'll try and cut her man back to Harvey. She'll try and get one in the mixer, deflected by a Pioneer defender and out of play. All 11 Pioneer players back in the final 20 yards, making sure this game stays at a 1-0 lead for Denver. Great job there to miss one. There's Martinez again. She'll play one in for a runner little too far. Maya Green will run it down. Martinez will come out and create space along with Freeman. Martinez looking for Freeman. Back to her. Nice little wall pass there. Try and go back and split the defenders. Can't do it. Cleared out. But Martinez will control. She'll play it right back in. Controlled by Arante. She'll play for Delgado. Over to Harvey. Man, great work by the runners right now possessing. That's all cut there. Nelson shot. Oh, tipped over the ball on a nice save by Wilson. Wilson's been tested twice tonight by Nelson, and twice she's made big-time saves to keep this at a 1-0 game. Harvey will come all the way across to take the corner kick, and this one's going to be the long one. Get this one in, run eight, nine yards out, do some damage on this keeper. Ball in right on the six. Header is in, and it's a goal. I think it's by Kamari Hines of the runners, and it's going to be a 1-1 game here at Mainfield. 37-16 remaining in the second half. Early in the second half, Hines ties the game, and she takes the lead in goals for the runners, her third of the year. What a ball by Harvey. Let's get those guys in that truck with this replay. It's coming. What a corner by Harvey. First, there's Nelson. She'll cut, hit a nice shot. It's going to be deflected over. But then a lot of corner. Here's a good cross in. Headed out by the Pioneers. And we're going to have a foul. It's coming out. And we may have an athletic trainer. Maybe a head injury. This should give us time to see the replay on this one. Ariana Harvey. She now has two goals and an assist on the year. Hines has two goals and an assist on the year. And it's 1-1. One by Harvey to Nelson. Back for Green. Try to go wide for Martinez, but it's going to be a great ball to Settles. She's got our man one-on-one. -on -one. She's in the box. She's doubled now in the box. Being held, no call. Martinez will look to cross. Good ball to the far post. Headed in just a little too strong. But run down by the runners. Harvey going to try and knock one into the box. She'll hit one from long distance. Saved by Wilson. Stays at 1-1. Yeah. 
Dancy controls. She plays it wide for Halverson. Back for Dancy, good defensive play by the runners there. Pioneers possessing the midfield. They'll look to play it wide, but it's going to be stolen. Mm. Runners will look to do some damage, trying to get Settles in deep, and she's going to beat her man and try and get in deep. Can she outrun the Pioneer defender? So far she does. Looking to play a good ball. Cross does right through the six-yard box. No one there. And Pioneers are able to recover. Number 14, Leah Swander. Looking to check back in. Hines at the top of the box. She'll turn, look to shoot. No call. They'll say Hines was taken down. Tough no call there if you're Coach Kernine. So Swander, the junior from Green Junction, she's going to look to sub back in. She was the second sub of the game for Coach Hooker. And she is going to sub in. She'll be the first sub off the bench here in the second half. What a game so far here tonight. 1-1 one, one the score. Great crowd as usual at Main Soccer Field. And all the swimmers are over there making noise. And that's what you want to play in front of if you're the home team. Wilson. She'll dribble out. She's about 30 yards out now, and she's going to knock a long ball deep. Headed out by Cole, but back in. And there's that girl again, Adler, making everybody better. Halverson plays the ball behind for Dancy. It's going to be off sides. And it'll be the runner's free kick. So right now for the runners, Settles and Hines are up top. You have Freeman on the right and Nelson on the left in the midfield to go along with Delgado and Arante in the central midfield. And there's Maya Green and Cole. They're the two center backs to go with Martinez and Harvey. Number 14, Leah Swander checks in. Number 16, Macy Barlow. A freshman from Las Vegas checks out. So the Pioneers will control. Cheyenne Short, sophomore from Denver, she'll control. Good defense there by Freeman. Headed down and still controlled by the Pioneers. Nice little chipped in ball by Bothner. I'll tell you what, this Bothner, she's playing the left back slash left mid position. And she can do some damage out on this wing. And there it is. Nice cross in, headed out by Green. Controlled by Arante. She'll play the way she's facing. And we'll have a nice long ball cleared out by the runners. And the Pioneers will control and start again. Michelle Day, who checked in late in the first half, and I take that back. Michelle Day, the 5'8 senior from Seattle, Washington. She's getting checked back in. I might have mispronounced in the first half. I think she checked in late in the first half. Ball cut. Crossed. Good driven ball. Headed down. Deflected out by the runners. And then cleared by Delgado. Great work by the runners to get rid of that ball out of danger. Number five, Kara Bean. She's about to check in. Bean from Savage, Minnesota. And there's Harvey with some green grass in front of her, and she's going to eat it as much as she can before she comes along a defender. Look at the speed. Great job by Harvey penetrating that pioneer defense. And now we're going to look to switch. Freeman looking in. Arante for Settles. Back to Harvey, and the runners will control. 
Here comes Cole. She'll bring it forward. Good ball in for Arante. Tries to play it for Nelson. Nelson still wins it back. Good work by Nelson. Great ball in. They're going to call off sides, and I would like to see that replay because when that ball was played, I don't know if she was off sides. Mm -mm -mm. A third of the way through the second half. 1-1 on, on the score here in Bakersfield. The runners scored one seven and a half into the second half to tie the game at one. Ball cleared out by Maya Green. And the Pioneers are in deep runner territory looking to get across in. No cutter man in the box. Shot near post and Bertram knows her line. Martinez will check out. Martinez will check out, Saya check in. Kamari Hines, the goal scorer for the runners, checks out. As Michelle Day, the senior from Seattle, checks in. Probably get Hines a breather. You got a feeling we'll see her before the end of the game. Delgado wins it. She'll look to play it deep, does. Settle's gonna try and run her down. I don't think that defender from Pioneers knew the speed of Settle's, and she wins the ball. Looks to play at the top of the box, stolen by the Pioneers. Settle's tries to win it back. And great job by the runners trying to keep it in. Good work. Tori Vandehoff getting ready to check back in. The 5'7 junior from Everson. Washington. Here's Settles again. Trying to put her mark on this game. Ball played out and controlled. There's Dancy. Plays it to Bean. She'll control. Finds a player that makes everybody better. Good tackle by Delgado. And Settles tried to play it in. I'm sorry, Nelson tried to play it in for Settles. It goes out of play. Naria Hudson checking in for the runners. The next chance. There's a shot by Freeman held by Wilson. Nice long range shot by Freeman. One of three freshmen of the years on the field for the runners in the WAC Conference. Pioneers look to play the ball wide. Pioneers looking to cross one in. Good D by the runners. And there's Harvey. Good job by the runners. Cleared out and controlled as well. Great stuff by CSUB in tight spaces there to possess the ball. And now they got a little space and they can find Saya if they want her on the wing. And there she is. Freeman's still here on the wing if they can get it to her. Great work. Freeman and Saya doing great work on the wing. Tight spaces again and they're still possessing. Tried to play it in for Settles. They'll go long and will run out of play at will. I'll tell you what, Coach Kernin, he's got something brewing on the wing right now. He's got a lot of chemistry between Freeman and Saya. You also have that chemistry going between Harvey and Nelson. And then you got some depth. You have Michelle Day that's in. You have Martinez that can play either wing back position. So he really has some good work being a young team. He, he has some depth on that bench, which is a nice thing, especially when you're playing games that at kickoff, it's 100 degrees. Huge. Depth is huge for this team this year. You have Vanderhoff, who's great, given some great minutes. Nelson's been brilliant on the wing. But at the wing back, you have the two seniors. Don't forget, Martinez played center back for a little bit in the opener. And you also have 
uh, size, Kinsey size. She can play that center back as well. She's done a good job back there. Great ball by Maya Green trying to sneak that through. Deflected out by the Pioneers and they'll possess to Bean. She's gonna try and play one down the line to Dancy, but it's knocked out by Saya. Pioneers will have the throw. Bean looking to switch. Does, but it's cleared out by the runners. But the Pioneers possess. Halverson doing some damage. She's in the six yard box. Nice cross. Little miss hit by the Pioneers. They got it in deep. Really had a chance to take the lead. And there's a ball long. And can the runners run it down? It's going to be. I think they're calling either a foul or the handball on the Pioneers. Naria Hudson was in one-on-one. -on -one. Told the officials at half, it's the first time I've ever heard a half play where there was no complaints and now each side had complaints to start the second half. That's as vocal as I've heard Coach Kernin all year. I know it's only the second one here, but we're now in our fourth half together, and he may have a complaint. I wonder if we can pop that replay up. I don't know if they'll have a chance. I'd like to see what the call was. Pacheco and Tercio will check in for Denver, the next sub. Delgado will play it wide for Harvey. Lots of nice one-touch passing by the runners. Substitute Day on the wing looking to get one across. Deflected out by the Pioneers and they can get out defensively but it's gonna be tr controlled by Green back to Harvey. Great ball in by Harvey for Van Hoff. She just can't get a foot on it. Bounces over her head right to the keeper. Wilson. A very spirited game here. It's a great game so far. And we still have half of a second half to play. 1-1 one, one the score. Here on the WAC Digital Network. Green's going to go long. Hudson's on side, but it's going to go all the way to the keeper. That's what I was talking about in the first half. There's that ball that's played straight. You can't play those straight 40, 50, 60 yard balls. They got to be at an angle. Got to be at an angle. Green and Cole pressure, and Harvey wins the ball, but turns it over, and the Pioneers can counter if they go quick. They try and play it in for Dancy. They do. But there's Saya. Great defense. Defensive pressure. Great job by Vandehoff and Saya, as well as Delgado. And here come the subs. Pacheco will sub in along with Tercios. Number 13, DeWalt checks out, as well as Dancy. They'll get a breather. I get a feeling Dancy will be back in for this game, as well as DeWalt. DeWalt's one of the captains. Rare when you sub them in a 1-1 game and they stay out too long. You got to think both of them will be right back in within 5-10 minutes. Cleared out by the runners. There's number nine, Mackenzie Bothner. Show control. Nice ball, and there is that girl, Adler. Turn, control, and switch the field. Exactly what you want out of center midfielder. Halverson tries to get it in, does. Thinking about shooting, she's in. Shot wide, nice shot by Halverson. She got inside the box, and we're gonna have a water break with 20 minutes and 58 seconds remaining in the second half. 1-1 one, one the score. Denver really pushing to try and regain the lead. And they're really playing with three at the back. That one center back 
number six, Cheyenne Shorts. She's about the only center back they have, and then they're playing with those wing backs. Bothner's been at the back on that wing. Barlow was, well, I'm not, I'm sorry, not Barlow. But their wing mids really come back well. So both coaches, Coach Kernine for CSUB and Coach Hooker. Tell you what, it's tough conditions at the start. Like I said, a kickoff is 100 degrees. <laughs> You're almost asking if you can go out there and play with IVs. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. But I'm telling you, if they're not playing with them, they're going to want them after the game because it's still in the 90s here. I understand people make the joke about the dry heat being in the desert. It doesn't matter. 90 and 100 degrees. It's 90 and 100 degrees. At one point this week here in Bakersfield, it was 112 degrees. So... You got to think the advantage with the weather and the heat, easily the needle goes towards CSUB. But it's a very, very spirited match, a real even match. Both teams have some deadly attacking players. Obviously, Dancy and Adler and Halverson doing a lot of damage, as well as Pacheco. When she came in, that's... When she was subbing, man, she has, she's quick as lightning on the wing. The thing for her is, I, I'll bet you she doesn't face a quicker wing back this year as she's seen in Harvey. And then for Coach Kernin and CSUB, Hines checks back in. So you got Hines, Harvey attacks, and there goes Vandoff. She's on. Thought about wanted that long ball. Just a little miscommunication there. And Bean will counter for the Pioneers. Good ball to Pacheco. Deflected out by Maya Green. So the girls up top for Coach Kernin, it's Hines and Hudson. Arante. She got about a 20-second breather, and she's going back in. I'll tell you what. I think Delgado's missing Arante. If one's not there, the other's there for the central midfield of CSUB. So Arante got her quick breather, a quick drink, and she's going back in. Good job by the runners on the deflection, and we'll have a sub as Arante will look to sub back in. And now they'll get Delgado a drink for probably 30 seconds. Those two just win the midfield for the runners. Quick throw by Saya. And Arante spins, turns, and she's going to go forward. She gave the Emmett Smith stiff arm. Gets away with it, plays it to Nelson. Nelson looking to play it in deep for Hines. Can she keep it in? She does keep it in. Great job by the kid on the transfer from Washington. And she'll earn the throw for the runners. Man, Arante, you're going to bounce off her. She is tough in that midfield. There it is. Nice spin. She'll try and knock one in, deflect it out. But CSUB gets the corner, and Harvey will jog, make the long jog, and she'll look to play it in. And you got a little height in there for the runners. You got Vandehoff. You even have Day, who's five foot eight. She's in the box. Hines is always, she's a goal scorer. Hines is in the right place at the right time. She's in the box. She's right on top of the keeper. So good ball at the six yard box. You can do some damage here. Comes out, 15 yards out, sprung shot. Just wide by Hudson. Great job on the control. Able to get the extra touch in the shot. Just misses the upper right hand corner. That'll go for a pioneer goal kick. Still sitting at 1-1 with 18 and a half remaining. Coach Gary Kernin just clapping his hands, supporting that team. Great header one in the midfield by the runners. There's Hines. She's still trying to win something. She spins off a player and plays it to Saya. Saya can always play a good ball from the wing if she wants to play it in the box, but she'll play the line. There's a good ball in. Headed out by the Pioneers. Me and Vicente tried to play that wing. There's a shot by Harvey deflected out. 
Can Nelson win it? Hines when it can't. to be cleared out by the Pioneers, and they can get those defenders up. Maya Green, one of the senior center back, wins the header. Brought down by Vicente. Vicente, the junior from Vegas. She controls to Harvey. Harvey to Nelson. There's that combo again. Man, that chemistry is great. Controlled, and there's Cole, and we want to switch the field if we can. They got Saya. Go to Green. Kernin really wants that ball switch. It really, you can do some damage. There's a turnover. You don't want to give her the ball. Adler gets a turnover, plays to Bean, but turned over by Green. Good job by the runners, D. Tell you what, Coach Kernin and his coaching staff, they did some work at the half. They have really denied Adler the ball because she is easily the most dangerous player on the field for Denver. They've done some work there. Now cleared out by the runners, but possessed by the Pioneers. There's that captain. She's back in the game. It's Bothner. She'll play the wing, but Sayo let it run out for a goal kick. So Settles is going to look to check back in. Hudson will check out. Good work by Hudson. She might have been had a rough call there if she had her defender one-on-one, -on -one, but Hudson giving good minutes for Coach Kernin. That speed's going to come in handy once you get in a whack conference play. Coach Kernin has a fast, fast team up top and in the midfield. Good defense by Vandehoff, and that's a turnover, and there's Arante making everybody better. Good ball for Settles. She's got her girl one-on-one. -on -one. Can she do some damage on the wing? Gets it across. It'll be cleared out. Kept in by the Pioneers, and they do not give away the corner. It's just a throw. Nelson and Freeman will check back in. The two wing mids, the two starting wing mids for Coach Kernin, they'll sub back in. Day will check back out, and I think it's Vicente, but I am never right. My wife tells me every day. I'll let you know if I get a chance to see. Great job by Freeman. She'll cross one into the six-yard box. And great job by Wilson coming off her line, and she'll control. Great job by Freeman. Cut her man and knock one in. Here comes another sub for Denver. It's going to be number 20, Riley Welch, one of the seniors on that team, one of only four. She'll check back in at the next stoppage play for the Pioneers. One by Cole on the long ball, and now we'll possess. That's the ball you're looking for to switch the field. Good ball there, and Saya can come forward. Looks to play the through ball to Settles. Fifteen minutes remaining. You gotta think if somebody can get the breakthrough next goal, it could easily be the winner. Nice little flick by Halverson. Still won by Cole. And played out. No corner given. It's just a throw. That'll give time for Riley Welch to check in. Bean. Kara Bean will check out. Good minutes there for Coach Hooker and his squad. The freshman doing some damage here on the left wing for the Pioneers. Arante will win the ball for the runners, and they can go forward with speed. Here's Freeman. She's going to play a little clip ball in. It's the Settles. She just couldn't bring it down. If she could get that down, she was in one-on-one, -on -one, but they'll control. It'll go to Nelson. She'll look to hit if she could have. Couldn't get that last little touch. It'll be cleared by the Pioneers. In fact, they'll control before they clear it. Good ball long, and there's Pacheco. That speed and that quickness of Pacheco can do some damage. She'll try to play one in. Swander can't get to it. Great job there by one of the big center backs of the runners. Good ball played in. There's Adler. They've done a good job shadowing Adler here in the second half. I think Coach Kernin and the coaching staff could see she was easily the best player on the field. They, they did a little adjustment at half. There's Hines. She wins the ball, still controls. And she's not going to be knocked off. Sets it for Harvey. She tries to get into space. It'll be knocked out by the Pioneers. It'll be a throw for the runners.
Ariana will take the throw for the team in blue. Another throw in for the runners. I think there's some fatigue setting in for both teams now. And here come the reinforcements. Three starters for Pioneer, and there's offsides by the runners. Three starters getting ready to check back in for the Pioneers and their big time starters. Number eight, Dancy, one of the two team leaders in goals. She's got four on the year. She's a senior. And then there's also DeWalt. She's checking in along with Barlow. They're all three going back in. And then Delgado, she got her two minute break and she's going back into that central midfield to go with Arante to finish up the game. Pioneers get in, good defensive play there. It is a corner for the Pioneers. And, and the substitutions will come now. Nothing to think about if you're your coach Hooker. If you can get Dancy in the game on a corner kick, you're gonna get her in. Big time goal scorer for the Pioneers. Delgado will check in. Number 26, Haley Vicente checks out. Like I said, I told you I was wrong. I couldn't see who the other one that checked out before. I missed one, and I apologize on that error. She checks out. But as usual, my wife's right, and I was wrong. And we're going to have a corner once again for the Pioneers. Cut the tension with a knife right now. Under 11 minutes remaining, 1-1 one, one game. Nice lofted ball in by the Pioneers. Header goes up. Bertram will make the save. She corrals it to her chest. And she'll get the game in, their hand, in her hands. Nothing can go wrong when the ball is in the keeper's hands, nothing. And she gets the game in her hands, rolls it out to Cole, play it wide for Harvey. Turnover, gotta wonder if fatigue setting in for both teams here, and there is Delgado as usual, winning the ball. Play it up for Arante, she'll knock it wide for Saya, and she's got some space. She's got Freeman on the wing if they want her, played to Settles, back to Saya. She's got time once again, she's gonna play that angled ball, oh, she's gonna take it herself. Let's see if she can do some damage. Here comes Saya, knocks it in for Hines. Little deflection by the Pioneers, but they'll be able to clear anyway. And who can win the ball? It'll be Maya Green will control. It'll be off of Denver. And it'll still be CSUB's ball. Denver trying to clear. Dancy, can she get it? Be fouled by Maya to be free kick for the Pioneers. And the Pioneers will be able to get all their defenders up. And in fact, they're going to let Brittany Wilson come forward and take the free kick. Said before, she really drives a really good driven ball. And they know it as CSUB is all the way back to the top of the D. And she'll knock one right there at the top of the D, headed out by Maya Green. Arante will win it between two Pioneers and break. She's going to try and play Hines. Can she get her in? The captain to Walt will win the ball and play it back for Wilson. Just a little miscommunication there. Hines had the chance. Just kind of got spun around in the midfield. Arante had her, but that'll come with time. Pioneers still control that one center back in shorts. They continue to try to play forward. Maya Green wins another header. This will go to Wilson. Wilson has say if they want her, but they'll play to Freeman on a great ball. Splits two Pioneers, and she's in the box. Great D by the Pioneers, but it'll go out and it'll be a corner kick. They're, in fact, going to call it a goal kick because I'm blind. And it'll be the Pioneers' ball. Clock continues to tick, tick, tick. Just a reminder, if the game is tied and we're under eight minutes remaining, 
we will go to a golden goal overtime. I think it's golden goal, meaning first goal wins. And I say that because I think the game ended in Texas on Heinz's goal in the 107th minute. So the runners have the throw, seven and a half remaining in the game. You are listening to the WAC Digital Network. What a game if you're just tuning in. You've missed 1-1, one, one, both teams up and down, plenty of counterattacks. Here's Freeman for the runner. She's going to hit, trying to get that far corner, and it'll just go over. Just barely, nicely struck ball by the sophomore from Bakersfield, the local kid, Sophie Freeman, just puts it over the top. Ball's driven but stolen by Hines, but Schwartz is going to be able to outrun her and play it out, but it's going to be won again by Nelson, and the Pioneers will still win it back a couple turns. There's Adler. She'll turn, spin off Delgado, and play to the wing. There's Halverson. Tried to play it back to Adler, but it still goes to Dancy, and it's still controlled by the Pioneers. There's Adler. She'll turn, spin, tries to create space. They're really dominating the right side of the field. Alerson, they're trying to get her in, and she is in. But she's run down by Nelson, played for Harvey, and Harvey can dump it out. And CSUB can get their shape and organize and get their defenders up. Really want to get those defenders up. They continue to be. It's like a magnet with the goal. Still just brought to the back. They need to get up, up, up. Pioneers control, looking to cut and get a shot off. Be chopped down by Delgado, and we'll have a real dangerous free kick from about 23 yards out. And you know Dancy and Adler are going to talk about this, and if anything, it's probably going to be Adler, would be my guess. Let's see who comes over. I'm not even close. Let's see. It's number 20, Riley Welch on the ball. She does have her... The captain, Mary DeWalt, out on the right wing if they want a player. Halverson's going to stand in front of the blue wall, try and do a distraction there as well. So Welch, you can even hear the coaching staff say he got to shoot. That is way more than 10 yards, I can tell you that. That's about 12, 15 yards for the wall. And here's going to be the free kick from Welch. Shot played in just wide, and it'd be goal kick as CSUB dodges a bullet there with just under five minutes remaining in the game. Coach Kernine and CSUB really have to like this performance playing an undefeated Denver squad. Runners trying to break that loss win, loss win pattern they've had. Halverson, she'll look to knock one across, headed out by Cole. Go to Harvey, it'll go to Arante. Nothing bad happens while Arante has the ball. She'll look and possess and play it to Saya on the wing. Saya has Freeman if she wants her, and there's a turnover. Riley Welch, she'll counter for the Pioneers. She'll play it in for Dancy on the wing. Takes a bad hop, and in fact, it's going to be offside by Dancy. Who can't give the ball away there? at all, ever, no less four minutes remaining in the game. Can't give a ball away in a tie game like that there. Freeman will possess, and here comes Dancy and Adler, who control, Pioneers can counter. Welch will look to switch the field, and she does. There's Halverson. She's got the wall on the overlap, and the waltz in. She runs about 30, 40 yards with the ball, looks to cross it in. Nelson and Harvey are there. What a surprise for CSUB. And if you can't hear the sarcasm, well. What a turn by Settles. She's got Hines. Freeman trying to get there. Settles still with space. Trying to be pushed off the ball. Can't be. And they're going to play Say a Great job by Settles. Say is going to look to cross one in far post. She's going to drive one in far post. It's going to be handled by Wilson. Tick, tick tick under three minutes remaining in regulation.
Keeper comes out of the box. She'll drive a long ball looking for Dancy. Off of Harvey. Good job by Cole to sweep it up. And there's <laughs> being hell. That's the only way you're going to stop Arante. You're going to yank her down by an arm. They'll play it to Maya Green. She'll look to play it wide for Freeman, and she's got her man one-on-one. -on -one. This is what you look for. You want one-on-one -on -one as much as possible. Freeman rolls her man, goes to the wing. It's going to try and get a corner out of it. Can't. Good defensive play there by... Knock ball in. Good hands by Wilson. Again, man, she's a good keeper. But good work by Freeman. She had the ball turned over, but she didn't quit. Won it back, was still able to get the cross in. And Freeman, it looks like so, she, need, she may need a breather. She's working hard on the wing. Nice punt. Beyond the D on the far side by Wilson. Stolen by Maya Green. She'll find Freeman. And there goes Settles. Freeman's going to keep it. She'll look to play Settles in behind. Does. She get in. She plays the ball across the goal. Wide of the goal. And off the side netting. It'll be a goal kick. Hudson. She'll check back in. Kamari Hines will check out with 120 remaining in regulation. Hines will get a breather. And you know if they go to OT, she'll see the field once again. Ball driven to about midfield, controlled by Saya. Runner's going to try and get that winner near the end of the game. Nelson, nice turn by the sub. And she'll win it back and still possess. She has Arante. Nothing bad happens. Great ball to the wing to Nelson. Can Nelson do some damage on the wing? She'll control. Shot blocked by the Pioneers. Cleared out. Delgado will keep it in. Harvey will try and swing one wide. They'll come to Freeman. Man, I think Freeman's out of gas. Still works. She's going to get a ball into the box. Great cross in. It's going to be Nelson to be cleared out. Arante keeps it in. Tries to play it to Freeman to be cleared out by the Pioneers. CSUB wanted the handball, nothing there. Say a 20 seconds left, they can get a last gasp shot. Can they do it? Gonna go to the wing, go long to Settles down the line. Can she get across in? Settles, she'll look, nine seconds left. It'll go out for a throw and that'll be the end of regulation. And we will go to overtime with the score. One, one here in Bakersfield. So, CSUB ties the game seven and a half minutes into the second half. Goal by Hines. And we're going to go to a break here on the WAC Digital Network where the score is 1-1, and we'll be right back with you in a moment.
Welcome back to WAC Digital Network. I'm Curtis Stelzer. Back in Bakersfield, California, 1-1 the score. And we're headed to overtime between Denver and CSUB. CSUB will control. Start tech second, or uh, I'm sorry, the first overtime. They'll have the kickoff. Shots by period. Denver outshot CSUB in the first half, 5-4. But in the second half, Bakersfield really went for the win. 11-4 they outshot Denver. And we're in golden goal. First goal wins, two 10-minute periods. And that's it. If there's no goals scored, no PKs, it'll just be the old kiss your sister tie. Ball played in on the wing, but played out by Cole. And the Pioneers are deep in runner's territory, 30 seconds in to the first overtime. Ball possession really can be a key here in overtime, really any time. But you get here, you don't want any turnovers, especially in a bad spot where a team could counter you quickly. Pioneers will control. And they'll look to switch the field if they can. So Adler scored two and a half minutes into the First half for Denver. And that's how we were at half, 1-0. And then Hines, she got her third goal of the year. And that tied the game. That was seven and a half minutes into the second half. And that's where we stand, 1-1. Ball wide for Freeman. And Sophie wins it. She's going to try and outrun her. She does. She's got settles with her. If she wants to play her in, she's going to take it herself. Great job by Sophie Freeman to possess. There's Delgado, thought about shooting, tries to get it in for settles, and that'll be cleared out by Denver. It's gonna be offsides by the Pioneers. Coach Kernin wants them to play quick, but they wanted to bring it back to the offside spot anyway. Cole control, and they can play it to Maya Green if she wants to, or just go ahead and play it in deep. She won't, she'll play it to Green and they'll possess. Do have Zaya if you want her. Play it in for Delgado. Back for Green. Nice little one-touch pass in there. Boom to Saya. Say can go back to Delgado. Does. Delgado has Saya. And she'll control. Has Harvey across if she wants to give it to her. Saya's going to try and get in there and be a hero. Plays it in just offline. And it'll roll all the way to Wilson. And she's got the game in her hands. So shots in the game are 15-9. Bakersfield leads in that department. And they also lead in the corner kick department. Seven corners for CSUB, three for Denver. And here comes Delgado. She'll play it for Nelson, and here she comes. Claire's been dangerous all night for the runners. Try and beat her man, get a ball across, does! Just out of the reach of Delgado, but uh, I'm sorry, of Freeman, it'll stay in bounds. It'll go to Saya, and she'll control, and she can knock a good ball in. She does, nice long ball into the box, header by Delgado! Hands down, best header of the year for CSUB, but right to the keeper. Good save by Wilson. What a driven ball by Saya. And, man, I'll tell you what. Delgado got that little whip on the header just right at the keeper. Keeper comes out about 35 yards out. She'll knock that long ball to Dancy, headed out by Cole. And Arante... She'll cut her man, and she's going to do some damage. I'm telling you, nothing bad happens when she has the ball. Arante dribbles more, plays it off to Nelson. She'll settle, and she's going to hit. Can she be a hero? Knocks a ball across. Oh, just wide across six-yard box. But Freeman's going to be able to run it down, and she's got Saya again, and she wants to give it to her for a cross. There it is. She'll control and knock it in. Good cross. Ball played in. It's going to be deflected over the top. And Denver survives. Four minutes into the first overtime, we'll have our first sub. Bean will check in. Along with Barlow for the Pioneers. Number 14, Swander, and number 20, Welch, both check out. Long ball won by the runners, kind of bounces around in the midfield, and it's controlled by the Pioneers. They'll knock it to Bean, and she's fresh. She's going to try and run Sophie Freeman. Usually, and she's going to be chopped down from behind. It'll be a free kick for CSUB. Don't give her that much 
Maya Green will take the free kick for the runners. Low driven ball to Delgado. She wins it in the midfield. Tries to play it to Arante. Arante will get it. Looks for Harvey. Nothing there, and she'll play it back for Maya Green. And she'll control. She's going to try and play that long angled ball out on the wing for Day. Be knocked out by the Pioneers, and they'll possess. And the Pioneers are offsides. Once again, great job by Coach Kernine and his coaching staff at half. They really figured out that Adler was the best player on the field for the Pioneers, and they've really taken her out of the game. And they've done a good job with that. Ball played in deep. Hines can't get it. It's controlled by Denver. Delgado will win it. And they can counter. Here come the runners. And there she is again. Number six, Cheyenne Shorts, really eating everything up at the back. Chipped in ball will go too far. I'm telling you, man, it's that ball that's played straight with no angle to it. it always runs out, always runs to the keeper. 99% of the time, that's got to be played at that angle. Angle, angle, angle. Kamari Hines, she was the goal scorer in overtime at UTEP. She'll check back in. I think that's Day checking out. It is. So Michelle Day will check out. Can Hines get back-to-back -back OT winners? That's what we're looking at here. Sophie Freeman keeps it in. It'll go to Settles. Great hustle by Freeman to keep it in. Settles going to look a ball across. Does. Hines. She's there. And she will. She'll score goals. Back-to-back walk-off game winners for CSUB. She did it at UTEP, 107 minutes in. 